What up traders, what up investors? Ken here from Dyslexic Investor. And yes, you read it right. We have a astronomical, crazy amount, nearly a $42 million options trade that is going out uh, just in a couple months into May. Uh, we're gonna be looking at the trade, looking at the Zoom chart and so forth and kind of dig uh, into what's really going on there. And uh, I'm sorry, it's a little bit hot in the office and I had to do a little, uh, Miami Vice here, button down the second button. Um, so please put your eyes back up to my eyes and let's look at the charts here. Before we go jumping into the charts, I have two things I want to be talking about. One is the Amazon affiliate link for the books. I get a lot of questions on what books I'm reading, what books do I recommend. I have that little section there. And the second one is going to be the affiliate link for Tastyworks. And that is what I use for trading options, uh, stocks, and everything. Hopefully, they're going to be adding cryptos uh, soon as well. So that's going to be a lot of fun to be trading on that platform. All right. But definitely check out those two affiliate links down below and a free Discord link to our fantastic trading Discord. We talk everything from Costco snacks to stocks. We talk about all kinds of things. Just go join. No obligations, nothing string tied. Definitely check it out. All right. So without further ado, let's go ahead and just jump into ticker symbol ZM. Let's go ahead and check out Zoom here. So, okay, Zoom here. Is getting a little of a bid here today. We saw it hit pretty hard off that 200 EMA, just slightly. We had that. We talked about it on the Sunday uh, live stream, potentially hitting some support around the 325 to 328 level. Um, we're seeing some of that kind of come into here, more or less the 330-ish level. Um, looking for this consolidation maybe to push higher here. The next level of overhead resistance is going to be coming in around that 368 to 370 level, um, which again is at 21 EMA. Um, before we dive more into the charts, let's go ahead and just look at that options trade. Okay, you can see it here highlighted. The trade was placed around uh, 13, so one o'clock, uh, 27 minutes and 16 seconds. Um, someone bought 5,000 shares of the 28 call expiring on the 21st of May. Uh, and they paid about $82.40. Again, that, again, $82, that's a lot of shares. So that racks it up to $41.2 million bet on Zoom, uh, potentially going higher here. Uh, again, that, th that direct call option is a 70 delta. Um, so that is something that we want to be well aware of. So we can kind of to dive into the, the fine details of this. Uh, of this trade here when we pull over um, our fantastic Tastyworks platform. Um, again, this is something that uh, we use um, for our for my trading and all my stocks and options as well. So looking at this, so the May 280 call, and you can see that here, the enormous amount of volume on that tab here. Um, again, so full looking at, again, Tastyworks, affiliate link down in the description, open up account of $2,000 or more, and you can have 100 shares or 10 options on before you start trading. So this being said, we're seeing again, earnings is coming out on March 3rd. So this is a little bit past earnings, a little bit maybe playing an earnings run up. Again, we don't know on what this trader or this individual is really looking at here. We just know that they put their money where their mouth is and they're buying a very, not a deep in the money call, it's a 70 delta, um, but it's it's still a, a fairly large position. Um, and an options change which has not seen much activity. So this really is somewhat of an outlier on this chain here. Again, a lot of people are like, hey, Zoom is a doom and gloom, goodbye, since uh, the vaccine's out and the pandemic and everyone's just gonna be going back to the office. Um, for whatever reasons, whatever their catalyst could be, their great earnings, whatever, this individual made, or not an individual, it's more like an organization um, with the size that we're talking here, made a, insane a large bet uh, again 41 million dollars on this seeing to potentially print higher here with that being said uh, that has already run up quite a bit here um, again we can see here on the options tree once we go here again we're using tasty works here um, we're going to go into like let's just do like an hourly chart um, and again, we talked about that coming in around one o'clock and that was around 82 to 83 dollars And of course it has run up uh, as we're currently speaking um, Quite a bit already looking for around 94 to 95 dollars So they've literally made a nice chunk of change 
already, but that's going to be very difficult for them to get out of that position because they are literally the only key uh, open interest right now. And the, the, the less the market makers are going to give, give them a lifeline, that's going to be very hard to liquidate this large amount of options in a given time frame. Um, with that also being said, we can look at some key statistics again. Here we have the, again, the theta, which is again, so of this, we have to, we'll mimic the, the trade completely itself. So if you decided today, if you wanted to put on the same trade, it would cost you right now at 340 Eastern Standard Time on the 12th of January would cost you about 47 million. So they have already made $6 million off their $41 million bet. Not a bad day, right? Um, <laughs> with, I'm sorry, getting still alerts from live uh, trading here. Um, then looking at potentially uh, this running even higher. So how high can it go? Of course, the max profit is infinite because the stock can go into infinity, but we know that's not uh, going to happen. But so right now, if the stock doesn't do anything and it just trades sideways and Zoom just kind of meanderers along uh, the chart, they're losing about 76 to 75K a day on these options. That's that theta we talked about. That delta is going to be super high again overall because again, just one delta we talked about being within like 79 to 80 points, meaning so if the stock moves $1, these options uh, will move anywhere from 75 to 80 cents uh, per, per the strike price. Um, of course, the higher that goes, the higher the delta. So definitely going to be looking for Zoom for a potential move higher. And I know I want to give a quick shout out to P uh, <laughs> Papa D. He was on the live stream on Sunday. He was saying that he put 70K um, and he was down already 10K. So hopefully, um, Papa D, you are in a better position coming in today. Um, and hopefully you didn't sell out and uh, really held and held to your uh, your really your conviction here. With that being said, being up $17 today, it's quite a fantastic trade. So looking at this again, going into the chart, kind of do some of the analysis, look at some support and resistance and so forth. We talked about that 200 EMA, basically around the 226 to 228 being a very strong level of support. This huge, uh, very influx of, of really just uh, volume and just price driving it up here. The only thing to really consider, this looks fantastic on a daily side, um, but we have seen quite a bit of damage. It really needs to start proving itself and really kind of get above the 144 EMA around 362 um, with key levels of overhead resistance around 370 to 375. Again, that's the 21 EMA and the parabolic SER dots. Those are still kind of currently keeping it down. We kind of saw that happen way back when, again, the 21st of December. We tried to break above the 21 EMA here, but we failed. We had the same kind of pattern here. We had a lot more momentum behind it coming in towards the end of November, but it kind of gave it all back, uh, going basically having earnings run um, with earnings, um, the lack of uh, uh, really seizing larger accounts, I believe, for whatever reasons, uh, the stock sold off dramatically, again, due to the virus, people, perceptions have changed slightly. Uh, and now we're just kind of seeing that downward trend coming in. Looking here on a weekly side, this is the thing, the chart that it looked really interesting. It's bouncing pretty hard off the 34 EMA on the weekly side. So since we're looking at the weekly side, because these options are way out in May, that kind of gives it uh, we can look it through the periscope of the weekly side because again the may options are still 129 days away so we're talking about a quarter of a year nearly over a quarter of a year then nearly a quarter of the year um with that being said we are seeing the five and eight in the longest time on the weekly side cross through this so i'm still a little hesitant uh i, I love to see this action print higher i never want to stock fail or go or whatever reasons um but this definitely if we get the momentum and get the buying power and, and more uh, uh movement higher again some key levels we need to look at is those parabolic ser dots and the 21 ema basically around 370 to 375. so keep those in mind for a potential move higher and we need to stay above that um, if we do get finally above that that $400 level to 405 is going to be in, uh, really with the falling uh, 50 SMA is going to be also that downward support all right guys thank you thank you thank you for checking out this fantastic video we are going to be doing a live stream tonight at 9 30 so um, I 
did a fantastic YouTube uh, um, poll where kind of I asked folks on what they wanted to see um, via the um, on the videos um, and there's about 50 of you have voted um, right now it's looking like a lot of people are looking at what is it uh, AMD then it comes into Nvidia then snap and then pins and then Walmart and then quite a few folks have written on NIO uh, and zoom of course I have already highlighted that I'm gonna have to give you guys all these hearts and I really do appreciate everyone's ongoing support for the channel. So um, yeah, anyways, before I start meandering and just talking about myself and all this kind of things and go into Costco snacks, um, which I just had some pistachios, little pistachio clusters they had. But anyways, that being said, please don't forget to like and subscribe before you head out the door. I would greatly appreciate it. And check about those affiliate links down below in the description. All right, guys, hope to see you guys in the live stream tonight. If not, we'll see you next time. Peace.